Sorry, I can't let you into the station at this time. But one of those hooligans stole my purse!
I really appreciate you helping us out, Adam, but we're running out of time. We gotta find White before he blows something up. We're in the clear. White's dead. You'll find him in the sewers under the precinct. Oh, what a relief. Wait, he's dead? Man, the less details I know, the better. Anyway, the chief finally took me seriously and is sending some men to help out. So we'll take it from here. Great. Anything else? Yeah. Here, take this. Like we talked about, it's the Deadpool bounty. Can't say I'm not disappointed you didn't bring him in alive, but I know how it is. Ain't no one around these parts that'll miss him anyway. Damn lunatic. By the way, Nikki, White's bomb wasn't even explosive. It was a gas bomb. I managed to disable it, but you might want to get a disposal team down there to do a proper sweep and clean. Ah, uh, shit. I totally forgot about that. I'll get EOD on it right away. Last thing we need are more casualties. Man, I'm sure glad I bumped into you tonight. You're gonna have to let me buy you a pint down at Maggie's sometime. If I hang around you long enough, maybe some of that famous Jensen swagger will rub off on me. Yeah, we'll do that sometime. Take care of yourself, Nikki. Nora 92 to Central. Come in, Central. Over. Nora 92, this is Central. Over. That code 10 I called in earlier. It's act. Actually, gas ordinance. We need EOD down there for cleanup. Stat. Tell first response to keep your hands on. I'd seen the footage, but that shit could be doctored easily. These people are probably freaking out for nothing. What if it's true? I did. What do you think I am? An idiot? You're not gonna make me answer that, are you? I see you, bro! <laughs> <Right here. laughs>
Richard, looks like Sandoval's got a secret bunker. I'm gonna flush him out. Let's hope he's still there. Okay. Yo, someone there? stuff, man. They get...
going down! <laughs> Run, you bastard! And this is why I urge every member of my staff, every man and woman dedicated to the true mission of the Humanity Front, to do the same. I say yes. If you're watching this, I beg you, do not allow misplaced anger to destroy everything we have struggled to achieve. It's over. He knows I can't come back from that. Everybody knows, Sandoval. You can't hide from what you've done. What I've done, Mr. Jensen? I spent years 
patching people back together from augmentation botched jobs and systemic organ rejection brought on by implants. And now, because of Bill's betrayal, I'll never practice medicine again. You really want to help someone? Tell me where Seraph's scientists are. I wish I could, Mr. Jensen. But my involvement ended right after I failed to remove their GPLs. You failed? Turns out, my surgical skills weren't good enough to bypass David Seraph's insurance policy. So for all I know, those little implants are broadcasting right now. On a frequency so low, your network specialist wouldn't think to look for it. You changed the frequencies. You have your answers, Mr. Jensen. And I've lost all of mine. The courts may think I have much to atone for, but my court will be a higher one. How about I take that gun with me when I go? You got everything you came for. Please, just leave. Believe it or not, I'd rather you didn't kill yourself. That's because you have no idea what tortures I've endured. The guilt. The shame. I was told the scientists would be used to find a peaceful solution to the augmentation crisis. Instead, I was involved in kidnapping and murder. My life ended that night. It's time for me to go. Think about it. Are you really in such a hurry to face that higher court of yours? At least there are no lies before God. Did you see that abominable press conference? William Taggart all but accused me of terrorism. He claimed that all the violence committed in the name of our cause was the result of my influence. So stay alive long enough to tell him your side of the story. He already knows it isn't true. I trusted that man. For years I gave him loyal service and he betrayed me. He sacrificed my freedom and good name to save the reputation of his organization. It's no use fighting him. He'll just spin it again. At least if I die, he'll never be able to use me again. Give it up, Mr. Jensen. Just leave, so I can do what I have to. Look, I understand your situation better than you think. I quit the force because I couldn't stand what the people in charge were doing to it. But they went to the press and told them I'd been the problem the whole time. Power always sacrifices its subordinates to save itself. But you have my word. You can get through this. I appreciate your faith in me, Mr. Jensen. And remembering that others have gone through similar events can be helpful. But is it enough? made it my life's work to try and help people. But Humanity Front was losing people to the so-called enhancement industry every day. Those scientists were my last chance to stop the insanity and I failed. If anything, my actions helped the pro-augmentation camp.
I hear what you're saying. You care too much. I know what that's like. Too well. Because I've been there. You want to fix everything right away. You want it so much you start trying too hard. Trust me, if you deal with the smaller, easier stuff first, the big things don't look so big. On the other hand, if you break an infinite problem into smaller pieces, you still have an infinite number of pieces to contend with. Some doctor. Some Catholic I turned out to be. Planning and participating in a kidnapping that resulted in the deaths of innocent bystanders. I am a mass murderer! My wife... I, I don't deserve her. Losing her is a just punishment. Except I'm not man enough to face it. We all have problems, Sandoval. We all have something to atone for. You, me, even Taggart. Your wife will understand that, as will the rest of your family. They'd rather see you live and atone for what you've done than watch you die in shame. Whatever lies ahead, they aren't gonna let you face it alone. I wish I had your certainty, Mr. Jensen. But you are correct. For the sake of my family, I must give this another try. Take the gun. I don't need it anymore. Pritchard, get this. The GPLs are still transmitting. Sandoval switched them to a lower frequency. But, but they could be broadcasting anywhere in the world. I don't have the type of equipment we'll need to find them. It's our only lead, Pritchard. You have to do something. I know. Listen. The riot's still blocking the street entrance. Head back to your apartment and Malik will fly you over. Maybe by the time you get here, I'll have figured out something. Progress and moral responsibility. Looks you don't need to babysit me, Mr. Jensen. I have no intention of killing myself anymore. Nor will I resist arrest when the police arrive. I assume your people have already contacted them? If they haven't yet, they will be soon. Then go. Use the information I gave you to track down your scientists. With any luck, they will still be alive. The men who kidnapped them? The soldiers? I don't know who they were. Only last names. Barrett and Namir. I sensed they were highly trained professionals. Working for who? I didn't ask. My brother, Ezekiel, put them in touch with me. Your brother? Not Taggart? Bill wouldn't be so stupid as to get his own hands dirty. I see that now. He's like Teflon. Nothing ever sticks. Corporation commented on the images. I want the world to know that we at Taiyong Medical have not 